How are you doing, great hounds? My name is Tremaine Horn with the Professional Ledge Office, and today we're going to teach you how to tie ties. We're going to do two different types of ties. We're going to do a neck tie, straight neck tie, and then we're also going to do a bow tie. So let's get started with the straight neck tie. First, you want to make sure your collar is straight. You want to lift it up. Make sure that you have your button tied here or topped here. You want to make sure that this side is shorter, the, the small side is shorter than the thick side. So here, I'm going to even it out about right here. Bring it around. This is our single Windsor. So we'll go through. Once it goes through, I will bring it around. Once I bring it around, that will make that first part right there, and then I will bring it back through. Once I bring it through, you'll see I have my hole right here that will make my knot. So I'll take the thick part, put it through my hole, and that's where the knot begins to form. How you know it's a single Windsor is because you have a single dimple right here, and it's angled on one side and straight on the other side. So once you have your knot where you want it, bring it up to the top. And how you know it's good is because the tip of the thick part comes down to your belt. And you wanna make sure that it's even there. Once it's even there, you'll bring your collar down. Make sure that none of your tie is showing behind the collar. And then that is your single Windsor. Now, for a double Windsor, taking it, going to do the same thing. I'm going to make it a little shorter this time because your double Windsor takes the double amount to loop through. And so you want to make sure that you have enough tie again to make sure that you can get it down as low as you can to your belt. So I'm going to bring it up a little higher. Come here. Loop it through. Once I loop it through, it's there. Then I'm going to come around and loop on this side. So that way it forms here on both sides. When it forms here on both sides, I'm then going to wrap it around to make my knot. Once I wrap it around to make my knot, I'm going to bring it around and put it through the hole just like with the single. So now what you'll notice this time is I have more than one dimple. And it's also angled on both sides. So now that I have both of my dimples, I have my knot where I want it. I'm going to bring it up. And when I bring it up to where I want it, I look. It's still at my belt line. It's evened up. And then I'm able to put my collar down. So that's how you do a single. That's also how you do a double. Now, the fun part. Let's do the bow tie. So I have my bow tie here. The thing with the bow tie is it depends on your neck, um, the width of your neck. So if you have like a 16 or a 17 inch neck, that's what you will base your measurement on for adjusting a bow tie. So for me, I'm at 17, so I'm gonna have mine there. I'm gonna go, I'm always going to make sure that the tip of this is in the inside here. So you always want to make sure whichever side you tie on that it's even and inside of the crevice there. So I'm going to cross it over. And when I cross it over, I'm going to bring it under. When I bring it under, I always say, tie it tight and just flip it over your shoulder. If you flip it over your shoulder and it all lands evenly, that's how you know it's going to even up. So then I want to make my first bow right here. So again, I'm going from here to making my bow. Now that I have this bow, I'm going to bring this part on my shoulder over. And when I bring it over, I'm going to bring it under. And there's a hole that is in here. You'll have to feel for the hole. But when you feel for the hole, make sure that you grab the back of your bow here and hold on to it as you pull this through the hole. And what that does is then creates your bow. So now that you've created your bow, looking in the mirror, you want to make sure that it's all even. So you want to make sure that this part here isn't longer than this side and the part in the back isn't longer either. So once you feel around for it, as well as look at it and make sure it's even, 
you'll then be able to bring your collar down. Once you bring your collar down, you even it out, make sure that it's lined up. You don't want it loose because if it's too loose, then your buttons will show. So make sure that it's not loose. If it's too loose, that means you need to adjust where your length is as far as the adjustable piece. Once it's there, that's how you tie your bow tie. So that's how you tie a single Windsor, a double Windsor, and a bow tie. Again, I'm Tremaine Horn with the Professional Edge, and that's how you tie a tie.